Somebody's sad about opening day. Here come the old Sox cards. Yeah. Man, that Sox game at Field of Dreams would be cool to go to, wouldn't it? But it's just, on our salary, it just you can't buy a ticket like that. It's irresponsible. That's yeah, an expensive ticket, pal. You know, David Ramsey's going to be proud of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the problem with David Ramsey is you're always saving for the future. You don't get to live in the moment where you get to attend all these you know, classic Chicago sports events like, you know, Scott Foster coming in for the Hawks or the Bartman game or you know, Disco Demolition. Or... I was there at that. Where? Disco Demolition? Joe, that was the summer of 1979. So? So, do the math. You were born January 18th, 1980. Okay, that's very good, Mr. Wizard. Well, my mom was there, four months pregnant with you-know-who. Running around barefoot, dodging disco records and dynamite. Left center field, July 12th, 1979. Oh, God. Joe, I never knew this about you. You're one of those posers who thinks you were somewhere just because you were in your mommy's belly at the time. Because by that math, I attended the after party when Jane Byrne was elected the first female mayor of Chicago. You were at that? What was it like? I heard that party was crazy. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't remember too much of it because I was about the size of the shrimp that my mom was probably eating at the hors d'oeuvre table at the time. Oh, no, man. Your mom can't be eating shrimp during her pregnancy. Shellfish is bad for your development. Oh, oh so don't eat shellfish during pregnancy? Let me let me text my mom. All right, that's good that's stuff. She should know that. Yeah. Tell Jude I said hello. It's 3.50 p.m. We're done in 10 minutes. Now, Thank God. normally, I want to swipe out, go home, strip down in my underwear, and get in my recliner. But today, I'm going to show you something that Warmer showed me on my first arrest. Because I'm tired of hearing you moan and groan about money. So, it is at the 3.55 p.m. We are going to begin the ticket and tow process for this vehicle in front of us. Because it has been driving down the red bus lane this entire time. The paperwork alone is going to take us at least three to four hours of sweet city sanction taxpayer overtime that our mayor is going to have to dig into our little city pockets to compensate us for. And that should give you enough money to pay for your Field the Dream tickets or for anything else that you want. Oh, I, I don't know, Joe. Is that even ethical? I mean, what, Sarge, what did you want us to do? The guy was driving down the red bus lane five minutes before we're supposed to swipe out. Yeah, all right, you got a point. <laughs> let's um, let's get some overtime, huh? All right, let's light them up. Yeah, you. Through the light. Over. Yeah, here we go. Here you go, stop the car. I know, look at him. Put your seatbelt on. Hands at 10 and 2. Officers, officers. Oh, wait a minute. Hi. Hello. On this rainy day, I see you're out here keeping us safe. Oh. I've got two coffees okay. for you. I, I just wanted to thank uh -huh. you so much for everything you do. Uh -huh. Please um, keep care oh. of yourself. You're the real heroes, okay. and we love you. Uh, again, thank you. Thank, thank, you thank you so much, and keep safe. Bye. Have a good day. It's rain, and be careful. Okay. Oh, I'll call United Road Tow, and I will begin to write the ticket. Yeah, hey, Randy, right here in front of us, the Meals on Wheels sticker on it. And take your time, Randy. 